Welcome back, everybody. Will Worsham joins us now for this week's Speaking Legal Discussion, where he answers a viewer's legal question on the air. Welcome once again. Thanks, Joy. Yeah, good to see you. Okay, let's take a look at today's question. I am a landlord and have had great tenants for two years. I just received a note from the city of Springfield that a nuisance complaint was filed at my property regarding a car that's parked there. I drove by. There were two cars in the driveway. One was run down and had a for sale sign. I was told I had to resolve this or I would be fined. First, why am I responsible when it's not my car? And how do I appeal this? It hardly looks like a nuisance to me. So what do you say about that one? Okay, first of all, a couple of questions mm -hmm. in this question. The first of all, why is it your responsibility? Right. Well, there's an ordinance in the city of Springfield, mm -hmm. like many, many cities, mm -hmm. that defi define what, or what nuisances are mm -hmm. and who's responsible for them. And in the city of Springfield, like almost any city, if you own the property, uh -huh. you're responsible for it, even if you're leasing it out. So as a landlord, you're the record owner of the property. You're on the title. You're on the deed. It's your property, and you're not allowed to allow a nuisance to be maintained on your property. Okay. So even though this car, I'm going to assume, is owned by the tenant of the property, because he's the owner of the property, or she is the owner of the property, okay. they're responsible under the City of Springfield's nuisance ordinance mm -hmm. to abate that nuisance, which just means make it go away. Okay, who defines a nuisance? The nuisance? What a nuisance is is also defined in that same ordinance. And by the way, these are all available online at the City of Springfield's mm -hmm. website. You can go through and search it. It's really kind of nice. Mm -hmm. And as a d definition, one of the things that is defined as an ordinance is an inoperable motor vehicle. You can't allow an inoperable motor vehicle to sit um, out on your property. So like in the driveway or in the yard, this is kind of to prevent people from just parking junk cars in their yard. So this is the city, not the county. No, this is the city. Okay. The, the county may ha has their own ordinances as well. You can I don't look think, into that. I don't think they case. define it in quite this way. Okay. Okay. And obviously, it's a little more. So inoperable. This didn't say the car was inoperable. No, it, it did say run down, and so I kind of yeah. took it from that question that we may be dealing with, if not an inoperable motor vehicle, at least one that maybe looks like one. Uh, so that could be the problem as well. That it's, maybe it's been sitting there a long time. There were two cars. Sure. One is for sale. So what should that person do? Well, one, if you just simply move the car, that's mm -hmm. going to take care of the problem. If it's moved, then you know it's, it's not going to be considered an, a nuisance as long as it's not just sitting there, mm -hmm. essentially being a nuisance under yeah. the definition of the statute, or of the ordinance. Statute's the wrong mm -hmm. word here, of the ordinance. Um, if you're issued a fine, it's going to come in the form of a ticket. You have every right to go to the municipal court and talk to... Uh, the, the judge about it, talk to the prosecutor about it. Um, but if it meets the definition of the ordinance, the city ordinance of a nuisance, um, you know, it may be hard to argue your point. Uh, you can't just simply go in and argue, say, well, I think the ordinance is wrong. Um, well, that, yeah, <laughs> but it sounds to me like th these have been very good renters, so there's probably a decent relationship. Call them up and say, hey, look, we yeah. have an issue. Someone's pretty much turned you and me in because your exactly. cars are sitting there, so can you do something about it? Exactly, and so sometimes the best answer isn't always a legal one. Sometimes it's a little more practical one. Call the renters. Ask them to move their car. Just yeah. take care of the problem. Would, th would this be something you would get in writing when, when they sign a lease on that house to say, if you screw up, you're responsible for any fine that comes your way? Yeah, it wouldn't be uncomfortable common to have a lease that talks about the burden placed on the tenant. Now that doesn't bind the city. Obviously they're not a party sure. to that document right. so they can still fine you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you could actually have it in your lease document to where the tenant has to reimburse you for any fines that are levied against you yeah. um, for essentially their acts. Well, hopefully this will be solved in a phone call, and that's all there is to it. All right, Will Worsham, thank you so much. Now, if you have a legal question for Will, email him at wworsham at color10.com, and he will answer your question on the show. All right, up next.